Hi there, I'm Glenn Burgess, an exercise referral and cardiac rehabilitation instructor and personal trainer from Kent. I work with clients referred by GPs, physiotherapists and other health professionals to help improve their health, fitness and well-being. So in this video I'm going to run through a seated warm-up for the less able out there that are still looking to keep moving. Um, so use this video as a warm-up for my seated or chair-based circuit videos or as a short gentle workout just to keep yourself moving and loosened up. Right, so a few health and safety points before we start. So if you're feeling at all unwell, then please leave this workout until you're feeling better. Um, make sure your workout area is free of obstructions as well ventilated and not too warm. So rest whenever you need to um, and work at your own level. Okay, so let's begin. So what you're gonna need for this is a nice sturdy chair, and that's pretty much it. So the one easy to do is just take a seat, sit on the front third of the chair. So you're not sitting all the way back in, you're not leaning to the back rest, you're nice and upright, good posture, sitting on the front third, and that's gonna give you a better range of movement for the exercises we're gonna do. Right, so starting off, we're just gonna start with a gentle march on the spot. So we're going to go into some heel digs. So just tapping your heel out in front. So the idea of this warm up is just to get all the joints moving, get the blood flowing, and get the heart ready to exercise. Just to keep you loose and over, and just keep you moving generally as well. So what we're going to do, we're going to start with gradual warm up. So we start basically with just legs. And then we'll start introducing the upper body as well. We'll do some mobilization exercises to get the joints moving more. And then we'll do a few sort of stretches as well to finish the warm up. All right, so good. So tapping out to the side. So this is just starting to open the hips out. So right now, hands aren't really doing anything. It's all about the legs to start with. So just remember, like I said, work at your own level. So if you can't reach all the way out, just a little taps, totally acceptable. So just work at your own level and then repeat this video and look to improve. All right, good. Okay, and so said tapping back behind. So just try and tap the foot back as far as you can behind. If you're on a slightly higher chair, it's a little bit easier. And bringing the knees up in front. So remember to keep your posture nice and tall as well. Back nice and straight. Don't let yourself fall back into the backrest. Keep your core engaged and working more as well. And good. So just keep your feet pulsing. So just so you knees are moving, it's getting the blood flowing as well. What we don't want is the blood just to flow to the legs and stay there. We want to keep circulating all the way around the body. So just keeping your feet moving. So what we're gonna do, next one, is we're gonna just warm up the core X core. So so basically what we're gonna do, sit nice and tall, just gonna reach down your chair leg to one side. You don't have to go all the way to the floor. So just go as far as you're comfortable with. 
Try and stay nice and balanced, don't fall out of your chair if you can avoid it. Remember to keep those feet moving. Right, one more time. Legs pumping again. Okay, good. All right, so this time, what I want you to do is just bring your arms in front and you're just going to just twist to the side. So still trying to keep your knees and lower body pointing forwards and back to the middle. So it's just your upper body moving. And keep that going. And one more time. And good, right, march it out. Okay, so what we're gonna do is bring your arms out in front. And I'm just gonna just open them out and bring them back in. So nice, flowy moving. Just keeping your feet gently moving. So feel this opening out your chest. Good, so this time we're gonna just twist to one side and looking at the top hand, back to the middle. And we're gonna to go to the other side. So just looking at the top hand. And again, into the middle. So we'll go one more time each side. Middle and out to the side. And to the middle. Alright, good. So march you on the spot. Okay, good. Right. So we're gonna tap the toes out in front this time. So try and tap a little further than last time, if you can. And what we're gonna do is introduce the bicep curl with the arms. So you can have to work a little bit harder now. Right, and we're going to tap to the side. So again, try to tap a little further this time. And we're going to bring the arms up. So just bring your hands to the level with the shoulders. If it's all it gets too much, just rest and join back in as soon as you can. So work at your own level. So if you find doing the arms as well too hard, then you can just do the legs again. Right, good. And tap him back. So what we're going to do with the tap back, we're going to bring the arms up, both arms together. So as you tap back, both arms come forward. So again, arms just level with shoulders. Don't have to go too high. up in front again. Okay, good. So you should be feeling a bit warmer now.
right hand march here. No, just pulsing the feet. Okay, let's get your wrists rolling. And back the other way. Okay, right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna do heel and toe in the same spot. So just working on one leg. So all you're trying to do is just get that ankle joint moving. Gonna get your quad working as well. Right hand the other one. So trying to pick the same spot, heel and toe, so you can really exaggerate that ankle movement. Oh. Okay, good. All right, so this last round we're going to do a bit of coordination work as well. It's going to do the same exercise we've done already, but we're going to get you thinking a bit more. Well, so going into a heel dig out in front, and you're going to add a bicep curl with the same arm and leg together. Both arms. Now the bit that's going to get you thinking, so you're going to go the opposite arm and leg. So we're going to tap to the side again. And again, we're going to bring the same arm up. And we're going to put the arms together. To get you thinking, the opposite arm and leg. Right, and bring the knee up to the opposite hand. So, and a small twist. It's almost feel like you're marching on your bum cheeks. Hopefully you feel him warming out, so just march it out to just keep those toes just moving. Okay, so we're gonna have a little bit of a stretch. So starting at the top. So you're gonna take one arm up, reaching down the back. As far as you can, just walk your fingers down your spine. Just give a chin, a push on the back of your arm. If you do have any shoulder problems, shoulder issues, then don't do this exercise if it feels too bad. Out to the other one, so reaching down the back and gent push. And 
Okay. Right, it's so just going to bring one arm across. Just pull it on above the elbow. Just gently pull it, and you'll feel this stretch into the shoulder. Okay, so we're going to cut the hands together. So we're going to open up across the upper back. So as you just like you're reaching around a big tree, you're trying to reach all the way around, separate the shoulder blades and stretch across the upper back. Okay, so bringing the arms around behind. So put your hands into the small of your back. Just try to bring your elbows as close together as possible. And you feel that stretch just across the chest. All right, now roll shoulders back. Okay, so we do a couple of exercises for the legs as well. So you're going to take one leg out in front, and just lean it in slightly, bring the toes up towards you. You should feel that in the back of the calf. And onto the other leg. Okay, so I hope you're feeling warm. I hope you're feeling nice and ready. Like I said, Go on and try one of my seated workouts or chair-based workouts. Um, I'll see you again soon. Thank you very much.